guys so I wanted to show you guys my super mini makeup collection it's really small compared to the other collections here on YouTube it I mean it might seem big to begin with but trust me it, it's very small and the reason why I'm making this video is because I just wanted to show you guys that you know I've been making videos here on YouTube for over a year now and this is all that I have and I've been okay that you don't need to have like this gigantic super big collection um, to make videos or to just be happy with your makeup and you, know, you don't need anything super crazy I'm pretty sure that my collection is gonna grow <laughs> and, you know I'm not saying that it's not gonna grow because I'm pretty sure that it is gonna grow but um, like I said, I've been here a year and I've been doing fine and this is all the makeup that I have. I just thought that this video would be fun for you guys to watch because I like watching these videos. This isn't necessarily going to be like how I store my makeup because honestly, this isn't even the room where I keep my makeup. I have to bring everything over. I just have like the little mini container here which I'll show you and then the rest of my makeup is literally sitting out so that I can show it to you because I... I honestly just keep half of that stuff in like a makeup bag so yeah I mean I really don't have a proper storage and I don't really have any way to organize it anything like that so that'll be a totally different video when I actually do organize my makeup and everything like that so yeah I really hope that you guys like this video so are you guys ready to see my mini collection okay so this is the little drawer that I have that keeps some of my makeup and the rest of my makeup is over there <laughs> so I will show you guys that one later but I will show you this first so here uh, like I said it's just kind of messy I haven't really had a chance to organize it basically this is all the eye stuff but there could be other things in here or this blue elf eyeshadow but it's called dusk and I have my Garnier Anti-Dark Circle Roller, CoverGirl Mascara, L'Oreal Mascara, this newer mascara that I got. I have my NYX Jumbo Pencils in here. Uh, my new liquid liner from Jordana, this Maybelline Pencil Liner, um, this double-ended liner, but it's like totally, I can't even use it because I don't have a sharpener, so I really have to get a sharpener. But this is from Urban Decay. It came with one of the, with the original Naked palette, I think. And just this brown liner that I got for Christmas. This came in a pack with uh, the eyeshadows with uh, Wet n Wild. This is from the... Manish Aurora collection, which came out in 08, I believe, and this was a very popular matte collection, but I actually found this at a CCO, you guys. Oh, there's my camera. Um, yeah, I found this at a CCO, and I only paid $26, which is amazing because this palette was going online for like $100. So I got that. Very cool. I'm telling you, the CCOs in Orlando are like the best. You can find everything there. Then this Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Trio Dream of Greeny. <laughs> this, uh, see, it's like random, the slip gloss is in here, but this is from Urban Decay. I think this is the naked one. Um, I have this MAC eyeshadow called Daydreaming. This was from the Haley Williams collection. So pretty. This uh, double eyeshadow from L'Oreal that my mom gave me. It's called Gunmetal. This NYX eyeshadow trio. This black is amazing. Like it's super soft and extremely pigmented. Then I have this other eyeshadow uh, from MAC. It's called Birds and Berries. Very beautiful blue. And this was one of the first MAC eyeshadows I got. It's called Expensive Pink. But it's like, it's pink, but it has the gold in it. It's very pretty. So that's basically everything that's in this drawer. Oh, actually, there's something else over here. This is from uh, Victoria's Secret. It's just a glitter. It, this is a very cool product. And then this eyeshadow in Kitten. And then just this eyeshadow that 
always needs a base. And this uh, CoverGirl lipstick that my friend gave me. So that's basically everything that's in here. These are all my lipsticks, of course. This is what I have the most are lipsticks. Um, I have a lot of MAC lipsticks, but honestly, a majority of them I got at the CCO. This one's called Sounds Like Noise, the orange one. Um, I mean, I, I wish I can go through all of them, but I feel like it's going to take so much time. This is what I have on today. So in the intro, if you're curious, this is uh, from the Rihanna collection. I guess it's called Helix or He, I don't know, something like that. And then this one is Rebel, which is kind of like the exact same color. It might not look like it in the tube, but I swear when you put it on your lips, it's almost the same. But this lipstick is amazing. And then this one is called Ravishing. It's like a nice peach color. So then I have the Revlon Lip Butters, the Sorbet, and the Juicy Papaya. This one is the Riri Rue. You guys have seen that. This is a Chanel, which I put on in my uh, fall video that I did. Uh, this lip gloss from Flower Cosmetics, which is really nice. Um, down here, I have this, uh, the Nikki lipstick from Nicki Minaj from Viva Glam. Um, this Revlon lip color, but it got messed up, so I'm not going to show you that one. Um, this one is called Brave New Bronze. It's a beautiful neutral color. And this one is Gaga 2. This is the nude one from Lady Gaga. Then this one is called Peach Stock. Um, Revlon Candy Apple. Revlon lipsticks. I did a review on this. I also have a red one, but I have no idea what happened to it because it's not here. So... Um, another Revlon lip butter called Pink, Pink Truffle, Revlon uh, Kissable Lip Balm. These are really good. They're like minty. Um, another, this was from the Hello Kitty collection, which came out a long time ago, like in 2009. And it's like the nude uh, coffee color. I think it's called Fresh Brew. Um, this one, uh, Petals and Peacocks. Ooh, this is one of my favorites. I wear this all the time. Such a beautiful color. This one is called Blooming Lovely. I cannot wear this purple. It does not look good on my skin tone, but it's still a really pretty color. This one is called Lollipop Loving, and I got this because everybody back in the day was saying how great this was. So This one is Candy Yum Yum Neon Pink. This one, this color is very popular for the MAC stores. This is just a lipstick that my friend gave me. It's like a metallic brown color. Really pretty. NYX, uh, what do you call this? Soft Matte Lip Cream, right? Yeah, that's what it's called. This is, my friend gave me this. It's just from Bath & Body Works Lip Gloss. This one is just a deep color, which actually looks very similar to the lipstick I have on right now. <laughs> Um, I already showed you that one. This one is called Fashion Night Pout. This one was limited edition from Marblon. This one is number one from the Kate Moss Rimmel. It's the same one as this one from the same collection. This one's like a red color though. And then this one's also with the Manish Aurora collection from MAC. Also got this at the CCO. And this one, the Stila lipstick called Paramore. That's the reason why I asked for this. My mom got me this for Christmas one year. And then Mocha, which is such a beautiful color. I love that one. So those are all the lipsticks that I have in this drawer. Okay, so now here I just have like blushes and stuff. This is a bronzer. I think this was the first, one of the first MAC products that I bought. But this is bronzer called Refined Golden. It has sparkles in it. This is another baked bronzer, Physicians Formula. <laughs> um, this eyeshadow trio from Wet n Wild that's called I'm Feeling Retro. Uh, Milani Blush called Terra Soul. 
this eyeshadow from Stila called Wheat. Uh, just this eyeshadow. This blush from the Color Workshop. These two lip conditioners from MAC. This one's from the Hello Kitty called Pop Star. And this other one's called Petting Pink. Look at those. And then these blushes. These two are also from the Manish Aurora collection. Also got at the CCO. I was just really lucky that day that I went. Um, this is called Pink Swoon. I believe that the color is still available at a MAC Pro store. And this one too, but I'm not 100% sure. But this is called Devil Blush. That's these two. So I think I only paid like $12 for each, which is a good deal. Cheaper at the CCO. And then I also got these two at the CCO from the neon collection, the orange neon. I can't really remember. This one is called, what's the name of this? Spaced Out. And this one's called X Rocks, which I've been using a lot lately because it's just such a beautiful color. So that's all that I have there. Okay, so here is the rest of my stuff. That's just my brushes and my eyeshadow palettes. So here I have this MAC palette that my mom got me for Christmas one year. It's called the Stowaways Quad. Uh, this Wet n Wild palette. The Naked Flushed palette. The Pretty Rebel palette from Too Faced. The Naked Palette, which is very popular. This was the original from Urban Decay. And then the Lorac Pro Palette, which is awesome. Got for Christmas last year. And then this I also got for Christmas last year, the Naked 2 Palette. So now... These are just my brushes. I really, I honestly don't really use this one actually. So, I don't know, I have to get, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. But anyways, this one, I, it's just kinda hard to work with, but I'll work with it. And then this big fluffy brush that I use for powder sometimes. Okay, so over here I just have my brushes. These are my foundation. I have the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation which I use all the time. I have this Maybelline foundation, but it's almost out, so I should probably get rid of it. This Maybelline Fit Me foundation and this Revlon foundation, which I bought last year, and it looked like it was my color, right? But when I opened it and tried it on, like that, the color of the outside of the jar does not look like this. This is like orange. This did not look good on me at all but I couldn't return it, so I had to keep this, but I can't even wear this, so yeah. And then I have the Maybelline uh, Adrian Wine Concealer in Fair, which I use all the time. These are my other lip butters from Revlon. This lipstick, which I showed you guys from Maybelline called Violet Intrigue. The Hello Kitty Lip Gloss, which I don't know if I should keep because it's pretty old and yeah. Um, this Flower Cosmetics Lip Butter, the Revlon Lash Adhesive, this BB Cream from Maybelline, which I didn't really enjoy, so I don't know if I'm gonna keep this. Um, I don't know, I just, I really didn't like this. Um, this uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Brightener, my product that I can't live without, <laughs> my uh, Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, this primer sample that I got with the Lorac Pro palette, um, my tweezers from Revlon, which I love, it's sparkly and blingy, Bob Bobbi Brown's uh, Corrective Concealer, I think it is, the eyeshadow, the e.l.f. eyeshadow that I just did a tutorial on, it's very pretty. The Stila Convertible Lip 
uh, what is this called? Convertible color. There we go. So you can use this on your cheeks. It's a cream. You can use it on your cheeks or on your lips. And it's a very pretty color. Then the glitter glaze from Too Faced. The, uh, the highlight powder, the Marine Life from MAC. This came out in a collection a few years ago. My Dream Matte Powder. This Jane Cosmetics quad, which is pretty old and I don't know. This Victoria's Secret quad that my friend gave me. Oh, this e.l.f. Uh, shield, eyeshadow shield, which I still have yet to use. My mom's going to kill me because she got me this, but I'll use it, Mom, I promise. And then the Bare Minerals Well Rested uh, for under your eyes. This lip butter from Nivea. These two, the Le Mac and the Le Lac L'Oreal, these two are new. And then the slip gloss that my friend gave me, that Violet gave me in Chicago. It's just this shimmery lip gloss, which is probably better to wear it during summertime. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much everything, you guys. So that's actually not, I mean, it's a lot, but it's not at the same time when you compare it to the other girls here on YouTube. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. There were a couple brushes of mine that were missing because I just, I left them in the other room. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all of my makeup. Yeah, I just wanted to share it with you guys. Let me know what you guys think. But if you guys have any ideas on what I should do to store my makeup so that it looks nice. <laughs> please let me know. If you guys have any requests for any videos that you would like to see, please leave them in the comments below and I will for sure check those out. And yeah, I just, I'm kind of glad that I did this video because like I said, I just wanted to let you guys see that you don't need a whole bunch of stuff to be able to make videos or to just do a lot of looks with the stuff that I have. And you guys saw like a majority of the eyeshadows that I have are like super neutral, <laughs> but you can still work with it and still have fun with your makeup. So yeah, uh, hope you guys liked it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.